During the vetting process, the Parliamentary Appointments Committee rejected the nomination of Al Haji Nasa Ntege Sebagala, James Kakoza, Saleh Kamba, and Haji Muyanja Mbabali as members of the new cabinet. But it was only today that the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, who is also a member of the committee, shed some light on why the four were rejected. We received, for example, petitions, some were anonymous, some were named, where people presented these petitions, objecting to some appointments. Some of them we considered and we found they were baseless. Some of them, we, were not, we didn't take a decision. And the rules allow us, where we, where we do not come to a decision, to still defer the matter to the president. Then how can you say that I don't have the capability to say that I can represent the country? Olanya says, the rejections were based on both academic qualifications as well as the integrity and moral standing of the nominees. Issues of uh, morality, issues of uh, integrity always come to play. Each time members are asking questions and you don't want this to be swept under the carpet once they are raised. Last week, Prime Minister Amaman Babazi chided the committee for overstepping its mandate when it tried to suggest that Public Service Minister Henry Kajura was unfit for the post because of advanced age. The question of assigning responsibility is the sole function of the president, not parliament. If the president feels strongly that uh, the candidate that has not been approved by the committee was a good candidate. He has the option of taking the matter to the plenary. Olanya also dismissed Kibuku MP Saleh Kamba's threats. And for that matter, does it mean that they are constituting themselves into a Supreme Court now, which is higher than the Court of Appeal or higher than the High Court? So we needed to check that and we need an interpretation to that effect. Nobody has communicated to him any decision. The committee has not written to him that we have come to this decision. No. Kamba's appointment was rejected on account of his academic papers and his membership of the notorious Kalangala Action Plan, an outfit formed by Major Roland Kakoza Mutale. Olanya says it is up to the president to see fit how to respond to the vetting committee's report. If he decides that there are new grounds or new issues that the committee may need to reconsider, then that is he may. I'm just saying he may. Parliament was last week adjourned until 27th June when it resumes. It is not until then that the Speaker is expected to communicate the President's response to the committee's decision.